Hi. <laughs> this is Gotta Transform Them All with my first speaking recording in quite some time. Uh, I do believe I am finally well enough to make it through a speaking opening. Uh, but for the sake of just in case, I'm going to try to keep speaking to a minimum. Uh, but I figure what better way to get back into things normally than with a brand new opening. Uh, and I have all three of the new tins, the Glaceon, Leafeon, and Sylveon ones. Uh, but obviously they're going to be in their own separate openings. This first one is going to be the Glaceon tin, uh, which I decided to just go by the order around the tin. Uh, so Glaceon is obviously the first one looking at it like this. It's the first one left to right. Uh, then we have Leafeon next, and Sylveon will be the last. And I'm, I'm loving the looks of these tins, uh, but there is one small thing I've seen from openings uh, that I kind of detest. Uh, we'll get into that once we get this open. So let's get this open. If I can find, there we go, a corner I can grab onto at least. Uh, in the background, we have actually like uh, stuff that isn't just Sharktron and the big Bulbasaur plush. We, oh, we have Sharktron still, and we have a Bulbasaur, the little mini guy. Uh, but we have a Transformer finally. Uh, this is Bludgeon. Uh, oh wow, like uh, Quintus Prime maybe. Uh, I I got so hung up on the fact that the, sh the little shell is a. Uh, bludgeon that i completely forgot what the character uh to look at what the name of the character inside is like this little guy here uh because this is essentially just a shell that can become a weapon yeah the outer shell is bludgeon i'm gonna go with quintus prime and i'm sorry if i got that wrong <laughs> i just completely forgot to look at what that might have been uh but right on top we have our Glaceon GX promo. It is an actual promo, thankfully, SM147. These could have easily been alt arts because there's e uh, the, each of these exist in other sets, uh, but thankfully it is an actual promo. Thank goodness. <laughs> uh, there's also a code card, which I'm keeping to get that on the online game. Uh, now the thing I don't like about this, well, first off, we have two of Celestial Storm, the newest set, pleased with that. We have one Crimson Invasion, also pleased with that. Do I really need to get into why? I, I, I want to believe that most everybody's already aware of how annoyed everyone is that they're still including X and Y stuff. And it's not even like stuff that was in the last rotation roaring skies is two rotations ago which me being a collector i don't care but that's a that's a, i'm just giving a reason for why this is so bad <laughs> this is uh very old is essentially what this is and should have has really no business being in this tin uh it is however so we'll open it but really, there should have been four Sun and Moon series packs. Because there's seven different sets. They definitely could have had uh, four Sun and Moon series here. Uh, and just the fact that they're still apparently willing to throw X and Y stuff in is just worrisome and questionable. Uh, but we'll, we'll start off with Roaring Skies, get the oldest one out of the way. Uh, I do have... Uh, some good news, for me at least. I'll give you guys that code, I guess. Uh, I was not just sitting on my hands while I was sick. Uh, while I was sick, I, went, I finally finished going through every single set that I have. And essentially making a list. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Keep that on the center screen. Uh, I have made a list for every set and what cards I'm missing for those sets. So every single set is now on my phone. No matter what I open, I will be able to check if I need it or not. And I'm very happy to be able to say that. I can go anywhere, be able to look through like cards they have individually for sale and find something I need. It's very good for me to just have like a mobile set list of what I of cards I need. 
Uh, so I'm actually, I have Roaring Skies even on, on this list now. Uh, so I'll be able to see if we get anything new. Not likely, but you never know. So we have Bagon, Talo, Electric, Dratini, Execute, Mega Turbo, Manectric, and Electrode. Reverse. Trainer's Mail. That is an uncommon trainer. I do not believe I need this. Yeah, I need Mega Turbo. I was like, I need a trainer, but I don't think it was this one. Uh, so I need Mega Turbo and Klefki. That is obviously neither of those two. The rare is Articuno, the ancient trait, non-hollow. So nothing out of there. Totally fine. If we get anything, I'm hoping it's in Sun and Moon stuff anyway. So on to Crimson Invasion. <laughs> Give you guys that code too, I guess. Four and two because of the card that will never be named uh, unless it's in bad terms. I don't know. <laughs> Carablast, Bunnelby, Chimico, Numel, Starly, Diggersby, Countercatcher, and Staravia. Reverse. Cubone, that is a common. 52. Let me find Crimson Invasion. There we go. And that is one I needed. I am actually surprised at that. I do not think this is one I was missing. I apparently was missing it. So that is awesome. We actually got a new card there. Very pleased with that. Uh, the rare. Buzzwool GX. That is an awesome pull. From what I've understood, this might be a playable card. <coughs> oh dear. Uh, might have been a little too much talking already. Uh, but Buzzwell GX, very awesome pull. Do I need this? I didn't think so. Yeah, I have that one already, but still, awesome. Get a GX out of the four packs. But hoping it doesn't end there, because we got two more Celestial Storm packs. I'll just give you guys all the codes. There's another one for you guys. I say that, but I'm probably going to try and keep that last one. <laughs> just letting you know now. Because uh, I do like opening packs on the online game as well. So we have a Surskit, Slugma, Larvitar, Wismer, Bellsprout, Beast Ball, Rainbow Brush, and Tropius. Reverse. Oh, what happened to my screen? Everything just froze. There we go. Uh, reverse. Alolan Rattata. That is a common. Oh, I'm still on Crimson Invasion. Let me see. And that is one I am missing. So two for two, back-to-back -back packs there with a the new reverse. Very happy with that. The rare Waylord. That is a non-hollow. Definitely have that one already. So still happy with the reverse. And final pack, Blaze again on it. So this pack has a C dot, one I really never see. <laughs> uh, Beldum, Shuppet, Mudkip, Torchic, Friendball, Rare Candy, and Matang. Reverse, Marshtomp, that is an uncommon, 34. And that is another one I needed, so three of the four packs came through. Uh, I would honestly have been surprised with Roaring Skies if we did get one of the two I needed. Uh, but I'm still happy the other three came through with something. Final rare. Kartana. And that is a non-hollow. Another one I have already. <laughs> so still uh, very happy with this tin. Uh, we did get one GX pull. So very good out of four packs. With the Buzzwool GX from Crimson Invasion. Definitely happy with that. Uh, plus three... Yeah, three new reverses with a Cubone, a Lolan Rattata, and the Marsh Tomp. Plus, of course, the Glaceon GX promo. Very awesome looking. And again, just happy it's an actual promo. Just not happy they included Roaring Skies, in the least. <laughs> not at all happy. Uh, but oh well. Uh, that'll do it for this opening, everyone.
Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Hopefully this marks my return to speaking videos and openings and such. Uh, I might have to take a little break after this one just to recuperate because I can already feel my throat starting to burn. <laughs> uh, but yeah, happy I at least made it through for you guys. Uh, so thank you for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a great day.